Oshobo, Ibuaro. The capital city of Oshobo State is renowned for its vibrant culture and rich history. Located in southwestern Nigeria, Oshobo serves as a crucial nexus of Yoruba heritage and modernity. Oshobo Oroki Asala Onile Obi. Oshobo Ibuaro Harugedebi Okun. Oshobo Oroki Be Onile Otunbe Adeji. Oshobo Oroki Omoye Yosho. The year they were born, and they were babies. Early earlier, all of the area, the Gassusu area, the Wudi Onogun, the Ngelese Gagide, Agoto Onogun, the Ngelese Yara. Never knew what you were like at all. But God, you don't think you were going to borrow your money, Lofi. You ran away to take all the money you should go. The yet to me, I think I do a better money one more good should go. But she will look it, or more Lofi and buy it. Omo wa o liye ye, omo o bokan. Omo o dokan o dokan, ti wang kwe lò shun. Omo a tenye bò la, lò do yye. Welcome back to our series, Omo yu a diya tata. Where we explore Yoruba cities and towns. Our next stop is Oshogo, the capital of Osho State in southwestern Nigeria. Known for its rich cultural heritage and famous Osho Shogo festival. Let's explore what makes this city a unique part of Yoruba culture. The origin of Oshogo, like many Asian cities, blend history with mythology. According to local traditions, Oshogo was founded around 400 years ago. The city's name is derived from the river Osho. Legend has it that a group of hunters led by Timen from Ipule, a nearby village, were searching for water during a severe drought that threatened their settlements. They stumbled upon the river ocean, which was not only a source of water, but also considered sacred. The goddess of the river ocean offered protection and prosperity to Timei and his people in exchange for their settlement and worship. This led to the founding of Oshobo, with the river and its goddess, Oshun, becoming central to the cultural and the spiritual life of the city. Historical accounts suggest that Oshobo became a refuge during the turbulent times of the early 19th century, particularly during the Fulanese invasion. Many people fleeing the destruction of Odoyo found safety and stability in Oshobo, contributing to a significant increase in its population, largely due to the migration from other Yoruba towns. Oshobo became the capital of Oshun State in 1991. Its centrally located and border towns like Ikiron, Ilesha, Ede, and Iragbiji making it easily accessible from anywhere in the state. Oshibu is about 48 kilometers from Ife and similar distances from other nearby towns. As of 2024, its metro area has around 796,000 people and covers an area of 126 kilometers square. The city is famous for the Oshu Oshibu Sacred Group, a UNESCO World Heritage Site where Oshu Oshibu Festival is held annually. This important Yoruba festival draws people worldwide to celebrate with music, dance, and rituals that honors Oshun, the goddess of fertility and water. Beyond its spiritual significance, Oshun is an important industrial and commercial center. It has a mix of traditional markets and modern businesses contributing to the local economy. The city is known for its arts and crafts, with artisans creating intricate beadworks, metal works and wood carving. Oshobo also has historical landmarks and educational institutions. The Ataujas Palace, the residence of the traditional ruler Obajimo Olanikwekun Oyetonji Laroye II, is a prominent landmark in the city. Educationally, Oshobo is home to several schools and colleges, fostering a vibrant learning environment. The city is a key academic center in Osho State and home to notable institutions like Osho State University, which offers a wide range of undergraduate and graduate programs across its campuses. The city also hosts Fante University, a private institution established by NASFAT, and the College of Earth Sciences of Laduki Akentola University of Technology, which focuses on medical and earth sciences education. Oshibo is also known for its lively markets, such as Ojaoba, where you can find everything from local food and apps to traditional clothing and crafts like beads and sculptures. Other popular markets include Ibono, 
Orison Barry and Akin Deco, each offering a unique shopping experience. Another popular destination in Shobo is the Osho Mall, which offers a wide range of shopping and entertainment options. It features gaming centers, spas, salons, and electronic stores like Femtech, along with fabric stores and art deco. The mall also includes an imperial cinemas for movie lovers, various dining spots like Chronicles and Pocateria, budget-friendly shopping at pep stores, and eight essentials at Medplus Pharmacy. Just Right Supermarket provides groceries and household items, making it a comprehensive shopping hub. Currently, Oshobo is undergoing significant road infrastructure development under the direction of Governor Ademola Adeleke. This project involves nearly all the major routes in the city, causing temporary disruptions. I look forward to showcasing the transformed and beautiful Oshobo once the work is complete. That wraps up our tour of Oshobo, a city where traditional and spiritual beliefs come together. What are your thoughts concerning the city of Oshobo? Have you ever been to Oshobo? Or do you have any favorite spot in the city? Let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions for other Yoruba towns and cities we should explore, I would love to hear those too. Remember to follow us for more episodes on our Omoyu Adeta series as we keep exploring Yoruba cities and towns. Omoyu Adeta. Omoyu Adeta.